a film studio in a World War II bunker? Today we're having a look at one of the most obscure blackout studios I've ever come across. So the appropriately named Bunker Margate is a blackout studio in, well, Margate. A grey little seaside town in Kent with dog shit on the pavements. It's also home to poorly rated TV shows and films. From online, the studio looks like a multi-purpose blackout space that hosts anything from filming to tabletop gear nights, a writing space and sex parties probably. But what's the origins of this strange bunker? Who found it? What was it like before being turned into a studio? And has anyone been murdered in it from the old days? I contacted the owner and I'm heading there right now to find out. I did attempt to do a little sightseeing in Margate on the way, but I kept stepping in dog poo. So I checked out a few of the quirky Margate shops that I've heard so much about, and cute little cafes, but they had dog poo in them as well. From what I've seen online, the studio is located in the back of someone's garden, this one to be exact, which makes sense. A bunch of these were built in the backs of people's gardens in World War II to wimp out an hiding, which sort of always confused me. Why well, go underground? Aren't bombs designed to explode in the ground? Just go out and live in the woods in a tiny house like a dickhead. We don't conform to civilization. Yeah, we live off grid. Mummy says Wi-Fi is for child killers. Save it for homeschool. <laughs> you fancy your teacher. Shut up, our teacher's mum. Yeah, wanna fuck her, do ya? Wanna fuck your mum? The air's just so different here. My family will never know the debt I'm in to make our container house. What's for dinner, Dad? Pine cones. Yay! So let's meet the man who runs this bunker studio and see what he can tell us about its origins. So, Kevin, how did you first discover you had a bomb shelter in your garden? Oh, my name's Nathan. Is it like a proper mental story? Like, were you digging a swimming pool or something and you fell down into an ancient well like a Batman story? Just sort of came with the house, really. So why did you decide to turn it into a studio space? Well, I just really love the creative Margate community and I wanted to contribute something to that. And I think Cliftonville has a lot of heart and if I could provide a creative space that people could... Do you have a mini fridge down here? Feels like a good place to have a mini fridge. Once I was down in the bunker, Tim was really excited to tell me all about the renovations he's made to make it a soundproofed and watertight creative space. Is it in a door? <laughs> Welcome to the bunker. Uh, World War II, I'm told, used to be just an empty concrete box. Um, I treated it acoustically, built walls with acoustic plasterboard. And so the best part is it's completely soundproof. No sound gets in or out. Um, and I don't have anything really loud that I could show you right now, but if I did have something extremely loud, I could... Ah! 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 After a quick break and Mike had calmed down, I had a tour of the rest of the facilities. And if you come this way, this side room uh, would have been a coal chute. You can tell by the square hole in the ceiling there. But I think originally this would have been the toilet receptacle. And I imagine you just had to do your business in a bucket. Ugh, rancid. Yeah. And what about that? Is that from World War II? Oh no, we had a games night in here last week. Are you sure? Yeah, you can tell because these SMGs, these were manufactured in the late 90s. Talking of being a nerd, I see you've rigged some light strips up here for that high-end look. My next question is, can they change colour? Yeah, yeah, and they're voice activated too. So, give it a go. Green. <laughs> <laughs> Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Off. Don't be scared. We've had to set up this little scary table for this next segment. Now before we start, I've bought my EMF meter from that ghost hunting episode I did. And to spice things up, we've also got a Ouija board to ask any dead World War people what it was like to die from shitting in a bucket and not washing your hands. Go on, I'll let you do the first one. Um, hello, this is Nathan, the current custodian of the bunker. Is there anyone there? Just help us by moving the glass to yes or no. Are you annoyed you missed out on iPads and PlayStation 5? So you gotta ask it questions that aren't boring. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, 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 I've got one, I've got one. Um, did you have a World War II sweetheart? <laughs> right, I'm not staying in here any longer than I fucking have to. I swear the air's getting thin. I spotted a Smith's toys on the way here and I want to grab some Pokemon cards on the way home. Talking of airtight, I've also left Nephew in the car all day. But anyway, 
This Black Owl studio, Bonker Margate, is a great little hidden gem located in the heart of Cliftonville in Margate, even if you do have to step over a bunch of dog shit to get here. If you're a local creative looking for a decent soundproof space, maybe a bit of a band practice or filming, then follow the Instagram page, Bonker Margate, and chuck them a DM. Keith will be happy to up. Prices start from as little as a tenner an hour, although there is no mini fridge in here, and you might have to shit in a bucket. Oh wait, there's no handle on the inside. Don't lock me in, don't lock me in! Right, <laughs> mate. I knew it. <laughs> Sex parties.